Ladies and gentlemen, they love you so much. They officially shut down the federal government here in the United States. Welcome to the new New World Order. Also, if you're in the military, active, or in the reserves, don't expect a paycheck during this shutdown. You're not important enough. Yeah, you're not important enough, but you still have to show up for work. You're not going to get a paycheck. You got to put your life on the line to protect people's freedoms and liberties, but you're still not going to get a paycheck. Yet those that are deciding on whether or not to sign the bill for assistance to the federal government, monetary assistance, because it's broke, they're still getting paid. This is absolutely absurd, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I have friends and family in the military and that work for the federal government. They're good people. They're doing their jobs. And now they ain't getting paid. Now, if you watch the Fox News White House briefing, they came out and said, if you work for the federal government, you're either going to be exempt, you're not going to be able to go to work, or you might be able to go to work for a few hours until this is resolved. Why can't they figure it out? Why can't they drain the swamp? Why is it that there's businesses and corporations that can make billions of dollars efficiently, yet the government behind the most powerful nation in the world is bankrupt and has to continue to have this reset or this addition of funds because they just can't make it. What's wrong with this picture? The U.S. gives out about $50 billion a year to other countries and other countries' militaries. And they can't pay the military here at home. How does that make sense? Our government gives out anywhere from $600 billion to a trillion dollars in welfare-type programs a year. How does that work? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I would say it's because they love us so much. They love us so much that they want to keep us on our toes. They want to keep us in a position, most people in a position, why do these idiots have to park right next to me? You guys, you've got a parking lot of 100 empty parking spots and you want to park right next to me? People are morons, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, people are absolute morons. This guy doesn't even know how to drive. Get a clue, bozo. He almost hit my van like twice. Are you drunk? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, hotshot. I'm telling you, people are just ridiculous. People are ridiculous. But anyway, it's okay. It's okay to pay other countries billions of dollars, but don't put that money in an account that could pay the military if the federal government can't keep track of its funds. I just, this is, welcome to the Twilight Zone, folks. Welcome to the new New World Order where they love us so much. But at least we can still go to a national park. We just have to take out the trash ourselves. I'm thinking of these cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ripple, etc. Now, Ripple is different because Ripple doesn't have the blockchain type technologies that Bitcoin does. I've heard people say if you're getting into Ripple, you're getting into an electronic currency that's connected to these giant banking institutions. If you're getting into Bitcoin then you're working on getting out of that system. How do we literally drain the swamp without starting from scratch? How do we clean up what's already there and make this country a lean, mean fighting machine that's also happy and kumbaya at the same time? You get my point. I'm just using that as a figure of of speech. How do we meet... The requirements, I mean, for goodness sakes, we have the most incredible opportunities here. And we've also got the most idiotic people here. It's like the polarity is right here in the States. I mean, you want to see a zoo? Come to the U.S. If you're not from the United States, come on over and you will see so many amazing opportunities. And at the same time, you're going to see these people that are like literally three IQ points away from zombies. There's a lot of them out here. There's a lot of them out here. Probably more in the U.S. Not, I, I wouldn't say more, but there, there are a ton of zombies around the world. So 
How, how do we set up a system that's funded properly to where if anybody wants to be involved in the system, that wants to help others, that wants to be a part of the machine, these, this efficient machine, this organic fine-tuned machine. Okay, yeah. You want to work? We're going to put you to work. We're going to pay you enough to where you can have a quality life with your family and you're not scraping by from paycheck to paycheck. How do we do that? How do we create a system of education and industries that teach people to be efficient where we can actually make a difference and we're not in this society where every year it's the same thing. Oh, the government's going to shut down. Oh, you can't pay your military. Oh, but we can pay those guys over there overseas. That's okay. Like, what do we do? I think these cryptocurrencies could be a key point to a new system. Education's huge. Industries that don't profit off of dark ecstasy are huge. Let's create some industries that actually profit as much off of helping others than hurting others and destroying things. I mean, think about the war machine. Think about the health industrial mafia complex that profits off of sick people. They don't want you healthy. They want you just healthy enough to be able to pay your bills and go get more drugs. How do we change that? Imagine creating a generation of people that actually think outside the box. They're looking for ways to fix things and change things and make things better. Inventors, engineers, architects, writers, scientists, artists. People that literally want to be the change. And people that enjoy. I mean, for example, factory workers. You guys are awesome. I couldn't do that. I would lose my mind. There's got to be people that actually, how do we get people to appreciate what they do? Instead of being in the society where it's like, oh, I have to do this. This is my job. How do we set up a society where if somebody wants to be a, a factory worker, that they'll be the best factory worker you can get? If somebody wants to be an architect, you, you raise them, you teach them to be the best architect they can be, to take people's opportunities and advantages and what they're good at and, and fertilize, make it blossom. There's seven and a half billion plus people on the planet. Imagine a system that made every one of those seven and a half billion people the best that they could be. Could you imagine what society would be like? People would probably be floating around. I mean, people would probably be, there'd probably be no pollution. There would probably be, like the food would be the absolute best food you could think of. And it'd be all organic. It'd be all vegan. You know, you'd probably have animals that were even like, at the level of humans. Like you'd have dogs typing stuff on the computers, but they'd be in a happy place. I mean, it would just be crazy different. But we're in a system of consumerism, of dark ecstasy that feeds off of hurting things and, and consuming and destroying. I mean, just think about how much stuff runs on the blood of the earth. Petroleum, gasoline. It's insane. It's literally insane. But maybe that's all by design. Maybe there's a reason we're in a world of such polarities right now. And it takes people like you, like me, like others listening to Leak Project to be the change we want to see, to make the difference, to say, you will not assimilate me. I will make this a better place. The hundred monkey syndrome turns into the million human syndrome of awesomeness. Five years from now, we could be in a society that wasn't on the verge of collapse every moment. It's like there's concrete blocks on top of a house made of dominoes. There's giant concrete blocks sitting on a foundation of wooden pegs. How does that make sense? Well, how'd we get here so quick? You look at a country like China, it's been around for thousands of years. You look at a country like the United States that really, I mean, we've passed a couple hundred years, 250 years or so, and look at how much this country's done versus China. Yet, at the same time, look at the roots of countries like China. Yes, that is a Borg hive mindset, in my opinion. The majority of China has that kind of um, Borg type mindset. It's not, people aren't, People aren't born into a system like out here in the States where we're all kind of, in our own right, independent in a sense. 
more so than other nations. And other nations hate that. They can't stand that. People don't like it. We're, we're the redheaded stepchildren of the planet, yet the more they try and the more they try to squash us, which they do, there, there's plenty of people out there that they squash. You're going to have those that rise to the top, that become even stronger because of it. I would like to see in five years a system that isn't on the verge of bankruptcy anymore, a system that, that has people actually making money, interest, etc., that, that are gaining assets, that are learning key abilities and, and, and learning things that are important for a system of higher vibrational frequencies like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. The year is 2,600 and something. People are happy. They're having a good time. The inventions are, are through the roof. The water parks are the best ever. <laughs> Disease is down. Crime is down. People are happy, having a good time. Remember, that's what George Carlin says. He's like, but it was almost something different. And because of Bill and Ted, Bill and Ted saved the world by being excellent to each other and permeating that through the universe being excellent to each other. Oh my gosh, that sounds so difficult, doesn't it? Well, in a system that feeds off of dark ec ecstasy, pain, and suffering, yes, it is. That's the road less traveled, in my opinion. Being that divine spark that the divine gave you to be. To wipe off all the sheep crap from all the people that crap all over you. I mean, just go into a public place. There's so much sheep crap out there, you almost got to wear a full-on suit to avoid it. And even then, it's just, ugh. So what do we do as a collective whole to make sure that in five years, we're not going to be in the same mess? Five years from now, people are coming up with nanotechnology inventions that are saving human lives, prolonging human lives, making people happier and healthier instead of the opposite. Or instead of, oh, you've got to have a million bucks to buy this product in order for you to even have access to it. And then it might or might not work. If you have a system, why, why can't the U.S. create its own currency without being linked to interest or debt? How about creating a system of currency that's linked to assets, that's linked to labor and work and efficiency? We have so many opportunities. The things we could do, folks, this could absolutely be Renaissance 2.0. Be excellent to each other. Make sure to subscribe, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. Go to leakproject.com today, become a premium member. And also, if you want to get into some really high quality storable foods for dirt cheap, my Patriot Supply has linked up with Leak Project. They are offering a special for Leak Project listeners. For less than 70 bucks, you could have 70 servings of food with a shelf life of up to 25 years. There's a limit of three per order. So that, imagine 210 servings of food for about 200 bucks. And they've got really nice water filtration systems, organic seeds. They have a whole bunch of quality products. So click the link. Be excellent to each other. Be the change you want to see.